this is Will Schofield and it is the first day of the 2020-2021 uh, school year and we have gotten off to an incredible start this morning. Just want to thank all of our uh, team members, want to thank uh, all of our families and students for doing such an incredible job. I had the opportunity to visit four schools this morning, take some temperatures, some students that were showing them up, uh, welcome them back to school. And again, just wanted to uh, share with our families right now and our community uh, where we will be keeping up with uh, the COVID situation uh, as it exists in our community, in our state, in our nation, and in our school uh, district in particular. If you'll just go to the uh, Hall County website, hallco.org, you will see the first banner right here, existing COVID positive absences at schools. If you will click on that, what you will get from us on a daily basis is the number of individuals uh, that attend and work at our schools and then the number of positive cases of COVID which have caused absences uh, at the schools. So, so you can see, for instance, that, uh, that today we're reporting one positive case of COVID at C.W. Davis Middle School and there are 949 individuals. You come down to the bottom and you see that out of uh, 30,322 individuals, we are currently reporting 25 positive cases in the school district. Uh, as of today, 13 of those uh, are adults, 12 of those are students who were not able to attend the first day of school. And I would bring your attention to the fact that on August 4th, when we came back together, we had 17 staff members who could not report to the first day uh, of pre-planning because of COVID. So that number actually has dropped uh, by five individuals since we came back together over three weeks ago. When you talk about 200% accountability, we'll also just choose some random data uh, from our daily rounds that we are making on our safety checks. You can see here that uh, almost 100% of temperatures were checked uh, at these individual high schools and at one elementary school where we asked for the data today. And also want to point out some of the voluntary random COVID testing that will be going on within our school district. We firmly believe that mitigation practices, uh, that testing and tracing are the way that we will stay ahead of this uh, pandemic so that we can continue to meet the needs uh, of our boys and girls. So you can see that on the 20th of August, we did uh, random testing in the East Hall cluster. We did over 60 tests, 100% came back negative. Uh, the 27th, which is this Thursday, we'll be doing some more random testing in the Cherokee Bluff cluster. Uh, we actually are shooting for uh, somewhere between 150 and 200 tests on Thursday. And then next week, we will be in the West Hall cluster doing some testing. But all in all, it has been an incredible day uh, so far in the Hall County School District. Want to thank our folks who checked temperatures. We do know of some uh, high temperatures that we caught this morning in the screening and we're able to get those individuals back home where they belong with their families. And again, we're going to do everything that we possibly can think of uh, to keep our schools as safe as we possibly can. And we are looking forward to surviving and thriving in the 2020-2021 school year. So thank you, have a great uh, continuation of the first day. And for those individuals whose first day is tomorrow morning, uh, we can't wait to see you.